good morning. Are you ready? Are you set? This is gonna be good. Let's get week five, month number two. Let's get it started. We are into sculpt B, the second phase. This one's harder. <laughs> it's gonna be three rounds instead of two rounds. There's gonna be a few new moves in here, a couple of things you're gonna remember, <clears throat> but there's gonna be a few new things. There are also two more items that are recommended. A chair, and not, not for what I was using before, but you'll just need a regular old chair. And you'll also, if you have them, some power stands. These are used for push-ups, for dips, things like that. So if you have them, you can use them. If you don't have them, that's all right. Uh, but let's get this thing going. We're gonna run in place. And I'll try and teach you the new moves as we go along. It's a Monday. Hopefully you're feeling strong. Well, it's a Monday for me. I don't know when you're doing these. But hopefully you're feeling strong. Now we're going to jumping jacks. Not press jacks, just regular jumping jacks. Hooray! That's fantastic news. I like this round already. seconds of this. We got five seconds left. And that's it. Moving on, we've got twist and pivot. Keep those hands up. Keep that head forward. Keep, keep those elbows up. Pretend you're holding a basketball. Clearing out. seconds. And that's it. All right, we're doing push-ups. Got to warm up our shoulders. Arm circles. <clears throat> you can clench your fingers down. It's called the Igasku grip. Keep those elbows straight. Head up, chin up, chest up. seconds. <clears throat> I don't have a voice today. All right, other side or other direction. Turn those palms out. Thumbs are going to the back of the room. Still don't have any elbows here. And 15 more seconds of this. Remember if you get tired, stop, shake it out. Come back in when you can. Nice. That's it. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, sun salutations. Two of these. Bending over. All the way down. Up to flat back, down the heel. Into plank. Upward dog. Pedal those feet. Oh, do what you can. Come on back up. Number two. We'll reach down, deep breath up. Tap those hands and back on down. Up the flat back. Down the plank. Number two. Try and keep your knees off the ground. You can put them down if you need. Bring them back. Oh, that hurts. Aye. Press those heels down. 
get that done with dog good. And then come on back. Up. Reach down, deep breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice and slow. All right. Okay. We've got push-ups. Now, if you think you're ready, you can do some full-on push-ups all the way down. If you still want to do half, you can do half. I'd recommend start by doing some folds, and then when you get tired, do some halves. Do the best you can. So arms, shoulder, shoulder, a little bit further out than shoulder width. It's only 30 seconds. Down and up. Keep that butt squeezed. If you need to, of course, you can go on your knees to get that full range of motion. It's just 30 seconds. Do what you can do. The only thing the power stands do is let you get a bit deeper. So they're definitely not necessary. We're back to our good friend Rocket Row. <clears throat> so you can use your bands and door attachment and it's the same. Pull back exercise. <clears throat> but we can also do the weights. weights, you're still in the rocket position, but you're just pulling the weights up and holding. Do what you can do. Eight is good for me, for now. Okay, we're into squats. A little bit different than last time. Last time with straight legs or straight parallel feet. This time we're getting into the fighter stance. We're just squatting down in fighter stance. Our butt still going out. Right legs forward. We're gonna do eight. I think that's four. <laughs> you guys are probably way ahead of me. Down, get as low as you can. Butt out, flat back. One more. Then switch your legs. So just like when we're doing punching. Heel in that front corner, toe in the back corner, if you've got the H. Down and up, down and up. Same thing, we're just at a bit of an angle. Down, up, down, up. Excuse me. I got burping up. I did not do well yesterday for food. I had pizza. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm paying for it today. It's coming up. So, my fault. Okay, next we've got a new one called Thumb Up Flies. So, you can do bands, you can do weights. Lower your weight quite a bit on this. So, standing tall, one foot in front of the other a little bit. You're gonna go out. It's hard to keep my thumb on these because they're so big, but thumb is gonna be up. But you're gonna have straight arms out to the sides. That's one. Up to the front. That's two. Keep your knees bent, chest and head up. Back is flat. You want 
keep your shoulders or your arms at about shoulder height when you come up. Don't go too high. You don't want to be up here. Keep them around shoulder height. Hold them at the top for a second, not too long. Just a little bit. There we go. Last one in front. I think, I don't remember. We're doing eight. Eight forward, eight to the side, basically. All right, now into curls. Again, a little bit different. So we're gonna be going to do the curl hammer combo. So it's up, regular curl, switch. So the weights are in front of you. That's a hammer curl. So from the side, all the way up, regular. Turn your weights to the front. Keep it going. There's six. There's seven. Eight. Hammer curls use a different part of your bicep. I think they also use your forearm. If you can do 16, excellent. <laughs> I'll get to 12 and that'll be it. Yeah, that's good. All right, moving on. Launch your kickbacks, same as the first month. So just like before, get in your launch, rocket launcher pose. Bring those weights or bands to your shoulders, kick them back. Hold it for a second. Try and keep your head up. Try and keep your back flat. Don't hunch it down. Keep it up. I'm just gonna pause you, keep going. I'm just gonna pause so I can keep doing some. You can switch legs. Legs are getting tired. I got a couple more. If you can get to 16, perfect. If not, do what you can do. I think that's good. Okay. Now we're doing something. Again, a little bit different. Excuse me. This one's gonna be side lunge squats. Remember before we did a row, this time you're getting all the way down, keeping that leg, keeping that leg straight as you go down. So, Right, also, this is like a combination. So we're down in our squat position. Move over, come back, back down in that squat position. So <laughs> instead of just stepping out this time, like we did before, we're now fully extending that leg. Oh boy. <laughs> making it a good time had by all. <laughs> Lean over. Before, we would keep our body in the center. Now you're gonna lean over with that leg. Do your best when you're going over. Keep that knee over the toe. You don't wanna be in like that. Try and keep that knee over. Come back to center, you're still down. Just stretching that out. Oh man. <laughs> Obviously, 
I've lost count again. <laughs> so let's just do a few more. So over, bend that over. Keep your head up and chin up. Keep your butt out. Down, you're over. Your feet are parallel. Butt's out, chest is up. And over. I don't know. <sighs> Try and do 16. We're into our break. Our first break. We get two breaks this time. <sighs> Which sounds great, but it means we're doing an extra round, so. <sighs> now, a lot of this is new. Take your time. <clears throat> We're back into it. We're doing a weird one, sand crab push-ups. <clears throat> so this is a push-up. Uh, hopefully you can see this. I'll try and demonstrate it here. Again, there's 30 seconds of this. Getting in your, posi your push-up position. And you basically do a push up, move over, do a push up, hands together, feet apart, feet together, hands apart, push up, hands together, feet apart, feet together, hands apart, push up. 30 seconds of that goodness. <laughs> If you have your H, if you start one hand in the middle box, one hand on the side, push up, bring both hands to the middle box, take the other hand to the other side. It kind of gives you some kind of a, a guideline. But anyway, that's a sand crab push up. <clears throat> Next up, another new one. ISO rocket row. So just like a regular rocket row, you're in the rocket, rocket launcher pose, your bands, regular rocket rows, both ISO, you're pulling one at a time. Except you start down here. And you release one, and then you release the other. And then release one. Each time, one rep. If you're doing weights, so if you're doing weights, it's the same thing. You bring them both up, you release one, bring it up, release the other, bring it up. You're always holding that one up. You do eight on one leg, there's six, seven, Eight. Come on up. Switch your legs. Pause the video. <laughs> it's called ISO rocket row. Well, because you're holding those up, you're pulling the bands back. One. You're squeezing those back shoulder blades together the whole time. There's six, two more. Keep your chest up, keep your head up. I think I've overdone it now. That's all right. Do your best. I found myself hunching a little bit your best to keep the shoulders down, but squeeze back. It's tough. It's a new thing we're gonna have to get used to. Next up, another new one. Kinda new. 
fighter hops. So get in that fight position. Right leg forward, left leg back in the corners of the boxes. You're gonna go down. And then instead of just coming up, you're gonna hop. You're gonna switch your legs as you hop. So right leg is forward, you go down. Now left leg's forward. You're gonna hop. You don't have to get too high. If you don't want to jump, you can step it out and then get back down in that squat. Back down in that squat. If you can, do a little jump. Doesn't have to be much yet. <laughs> down. Right leg forward, left leg back. Up. Left leg forward, right leg back. Your butt is still out, your back is still straight. Chest is still up. You can bring your arms down and up. Just go back into that squat every time. Okay. Fun times. All right, another new one. Scarecrow press. Might wanna lighten your weight a bit. Loosen off your bands if you have them. So, going up like a regular press. Keeping your palms forward, going up. Back to shoulders, bring them together and up. Bring those elbows together and up. Try and keep it shoulder height. sure it's in under your front foot but as you put them up the bands are behind your elbows so up I'll squeeze it in up squeeze it in up those are tough Okay, next up, back to curls. We're doing seven, seven, seven. We did this once before as a bonus exercise. You're gonna take your weights, you're gonna curl it up, just a table, halfway, seven times. There's two, arms straight. Every time you go down, there's four. Six, stopping halfway. Seven. Once you do seven, you're on the top and back down halfway. There's two. There's three. Four. Stopping halfway. Five. Oh. Six. Seven. All the way down. And seven. All the way up. Holy, two, and I'm using a lighter weight, and I'm still dead, three, keep it going, four, three more, five, just gotta stretch that for a sec, two more, Mid-set break. Uh, seven. Okay, it really helps. If you think you're out of gas, if you think you're done, take a few seconds, stretch it out, and you can probably get a couple more. Okay, we're on to chair dips. So the tricep exercise. A regular old chair, dining room chair. You're gonna sit on the edge, put your hands on the edge. You're gonna go out, 
just a bit. I'm gonna keep your back pretty close to that chair. Dip down, come up. You don't wanna dip down too far and definitely never go past 90 degrees. This one's just a time one. It's 30 seconds. Do what you can do. If you don't have a chair available, you can do it on a couch. It's just a bit harder because the couch moves around. It's a bit squishier, but you can still get them done on a couch. The farther out you put your legs, the more you know you're gonna work those triceps. 30 seconds to get as much done as you can. I'm gonna do another tough one now. Another new one, side back lunge. So, just like the side lunge before, you're standing up tall. Actually, it's a bit different because we're not down in that lunge first. You're standing up tall on this one, going over side lunge. And when you come back, you're going back with a back lunge. So, see if I can show that again. We're gonna do all on the right side to first, to first. To start, doing eight on the right, eight on the left. So from tall, side lunge, knee over toe, come on back up, and then step back lunge. The two 90 degrees, just like we've done before. There's number three. And number four. If you can, come on over. You can also have weights. If you want a bit more, if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can be holding weights as you do this. As you go to the side, of course, keep your feet parallel the whole time. You're putting your butt out, you're keeping your back flat, your chest up. I don't know, we're on six. There's seven, maybe. Up, and if you want, don't touch the ground as you stand up. It makes it a bit more of a balance move if you don't touch the ground. But you're more than welcome to tap your toe to gain the balance. There's eight. So switch sides, switch legs. I've just got to move over in my room. <laughs> but same thing, you're leaning over with that leg. Your butt is out, your back is up, chest is up. <laughs> and then step back into 290s. There's over, feet are parallel. Up, step it back. I wish I had some more space. Step back, there's three. I'm gonna go this direction, maybe. So, over, butt out, back flat, head up. Step back, lunge. Now you can do, like we did before, you can get those arms pumping as well. Totally okay. So as you step, touching cheek to cheek. I think we've got two more. And back. One more. Get down low. All right. There we go. Break. It's break number two. Have some water. Shake out what you need to shake out. <laughs> All right. A couple more seconds. 
get that oxygen back in your head. Okay, that's it. Back to push-ups. Now, it's time we're doing crab. More crab push-ups with a little bit of a twist. So we're doing crab, crab special push-ups. So down. Get into that push-up. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those abs. Down. Walk over. Then you're gonna raise up. Raise your arm. Walk over. Up. Now, if you can only do half push-ups, that's all right. Maybe that means you can go faster. Again. It's only 30 seconds. Now, one other thing on the special part. If it's hard, you want to try feet together and as you roll put your feet on top of each other something like that if you can't do that you can put your knee down and press up so you're supporting yourself there but try to roll over try to keep yourself up you're engaging your core the whole time All right, another fun one. Renegade Row. Oh, Come on. <laughs> this is round three. It's the last round. Keep going if you can. Take a break if you need. So, grab some weights. I'll show you the bands in a second. So renegade row. Down on the ground in the push-up position. Try to keep your elbows pretty tight on this one though. And you're gonna hold yourself, and you're gonna lift one. Feet are wide because I'm because tight is super hard. So put your feet wide. Helps maintain that balance. As you bring that up, I'm gonna try to squeeze to twist a bit and squeeze it on the back. Don't just use your arm. Very hard. Try to hold it at the top. Now, if you're doing bands, you're gonna be same position. So if you're doing the left side, get that hand on the band. Left leg is out. You're sitting on your right leg. Pull back and down. Because you can't alternate on the band, you're just doing eight on one side. And then switch it. And do eight on the other. Can, I'd highly recommend weights. It's just a lot more effective. But if you only have bands, that's how you do it. But it's really hard with the bands. It's hard with both, but. So, we've got a few seconds. I'm gonna try and keep doing it. We're going for 16, eight on both sides. 
do or you can do. I'm going down. So keep your hold, your head, your shoulders in line. Try not to twist your body too much. You're not twisting your own body. Trying just to lift that weight to your armpits. Okay. Next up, we've got pogo fighters. So, clean off your mat. Kind of like second round, except if you've got it in you, get some air as you jump, or as you switch legs. Now, jumping's not your thing, you can still walk it out. One leg in front of the other. If you can, jump as high as you can. Soft knees as you come down though. You're landing on your toes. You're cushioning yourself. You never want to land flat-footed. Oh man, <laughs> okay. Batman flies. These are super hard. I'll show you the bands, I'll show you the weights. These things are nuts. So, on the band, you want to make the loop, whatever you can. You're in that rocket launcher stance. And what you're trying to do, again, is super hard. Oh, what's the best way? This way. So, chest is up, head is up. You want to go pull it out with your elbows facing up and up. You're not pulling back with your elbows, you're going straight up with your elbows. You're squeezing the upper part of your thigh, of your back, back of your shoulders, up. Like that. Really, really hard move. <laughs> Even without anything. I can barely get them off. But again, you're not pulling back. You're going straight out, elbows up on the sides. So hard. With the weights, drop, drop that weight down. These are awful. I don't like these. Again, you're down in that rocket launcher. Arms are straight. Head is up, chest is up. Lifting straight up. Elbows. Elbows are facing up. As much as you can. If you can get 16, oh my goodness, you're awesome. Switch your legs when you get tired. Hold it at the top. Ah, weights are so much easier. If you've still got bands, try and find some weights. Ah, I know they're all sold out right now, but do your best. All right, I think we have two moves left. Maybe three. Okay. Back to curls. Standard curl. Except it's not, because we're doing it on one leg. It's called a balance curl. So lift up one leg and get them up. Push 
to. You need to tap your toe, keep your balance, that's all right. If you can bring your leg up, hold that leg, even more stuff's happening. There's five, six, do an eight per side. Side, switch legs. Lay it up. One, two, three. Take that mid set break. 16 is a lot. Do what you can do. Get that leg up. It's hard. This leg. I don't have as good a balance. I think that's it for me. Next one, we're gonna need our chairs again. The couch will work on this one as well. So we're doing dips again, just like we did before. Got the power stands, I'd recommend them. If you don't have them, you can do without. Now, if you're just starting out, you can be on the ground. Fingers facing forward. You're sitting up and you're just dipping down. You're going as fast as you can, doing as many as you can. Can put your legs up on a chair, and that's all right. Keep them straight. Keep them. Do what you can. And of course, if you've got your palms on the ground, there's not a lot of, lot of movement there. That's what the power stands are good for. So you get. Power stands behind you. I think this way probably better. Then you put your legs up, and now you got that extra four to six inches of movement. If that's too easy, you can raise your leg. <laughs> that's super hard. Do you have a leg raised? Do 15 seconds with one leg up, 15 seconds with the other leg up. That's it. And of course, you can do it on the couch as well. Uh, you could also use, if you have two of them, you could put a yoga block down your hand on there. It'll give you just a few more inches that you can use to get going. We are down to our last move. move. It's a fun one. It's called a runner's lunge. So you're back. You're down in your 290s. Hands are in your running position. You're gonna jump. You're gonna switch your legs. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Get down as low as you can. Again, if, if jumping isn't your cup of tea, do your best. You can just step. Oh, you can, oh, I'm gonna fall over. You can step it up like that. The point is, we're going fast. Doing what we can in 30 seconds. They're mean, they do 40 seconds on this. I'm just gonna do 30, or actually probably over the 30 already. So get those arms moving, get down as low as you can. Nasty move, nasty. I think that's good for the first round, or for the first time. Now, we are into cool down. Oh, 
So there's a lot of new stuff there. It's gonna take a few times to get us back in the rhythm. After doing the other one for a month, it's gonna take some time to get our brains into these new moves. But that's the point. If you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over, your body's gonna plateau. It's gonna go, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing, it's fine. You gotta mix it up once in a while, do some new stuff. That's what this is all about. That's why there's three different phases in this. Whew, man, those runner lunges are nuts. All right, if your heart rate is down, let's reach up. Interlock your fingers, twist your wrists, and then twist to the side. Twist to the side. Your palms are facing up. A little bit different. Let's open up our legs. Let's do some of the same stuff. Reach over. And if you need something different, if you've got a spot, if you've got a spot that's bad for you, be it hamstring, string, or knee, if something's tight on you, you do what you need to do for stretching. You don't have to follow me. I'm gonna go down. Oh, just hang it out. Mm, yes. That's the checker. Uh, turn your arms. I think a bit of a shoulder thing. You can feel a knot in there. You can do some leg if you want. Whatever you feel inclined to do at the time. I'm gonna just reach over. I think I'm gonna get into downward dog, if I can. Stretch out those hamstrings. Press those heels to the floor. Press that butt up. Oh. The question for me is, uh, will it ever loosen off without having to go see someone? because I can't go see someone. All right, I think I'm pretty much done. Maybe a bit of quad. We did do a lot of squats. So grab that, grab the foot, and use two hands, one hand. One hand might be out for balance. Do what you need to do. Make sure that leg is tight with the other. It's not out here. Get that hip in. Press that hip out as well. As you're doing it, press your crotch out. Put some more, more of a pull on that quad. It's good. I like that. So, let's see if I can show you that. Hand is out for balance on this leg. So this is me with my hip kind of back. This is me standing up tall. Hip pressed out. You can feel it so much more in the front of that quad. All right. I think I'm gonna call it. I've done enough, at least for today. <laughs> so tune in tomorrow. We're gonna do sweat B and ab ripper B. Who knows what that is, that is gonna bring. Should be an adventure. Until then, I bid you adieu. Check out the, the website, have a recovery drink, drink lots of water, watch your nutrition. I did terribly over the weekend. I gotta get back on track. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one, bye.